us being from different age groups, so we have different commitments. For example, I myself have commitments, I have a girlfriend, I have to juggle everything. I spend a lot of time behind the computer playing games, naturally. Missing some of the family outings and going out with friends as well. Managing studies and practicing at the same time, a bit hard. For my parents, they don't really prevent me from playing, but they don't, they don't encourage me to go into this line. There are also some people who are a bit sceptical about the entire gamer thing. We are very conservative towards how a career path should be like. I think people who don't know anything about esports or gaming, they will just think that it's probably a waste of time. They will think it's just a hobby. You can't, you can't go pro, you can't make a living out of it. But I don't really blame them because in a pragmatic society in Singapore, it's not hard to say that gaming won't bring you as far. Since I am actually like at the point of starting my working career, this will probably be one of the last events that I will do and commit to a more intensive skill. I feel that ROG Masters is a stepping stone for the entire gaming community in Singapore. It gives us a chance to be able to prove ourselves on the main stage in Asia and to show that we are actually here and we're not forgotten even though we're a small country. Definitely this gives us a lot of international exposure and that will help us in our career. This is one of the milestones that every gamer wants, to travel the country, to meet other gamers. It's a one-time experience. ASUS, powered by Intel Core Processors.